like the 1969 Mets. It's the impossible dream revisited. The A's, a great hitting ball club, hit 177 in the series and scored a total of 11 runs in five games. Never would have believed it unless you saw it. You'd have to attribute it to pretty good pitching. The 1988 World Series champion Dodgers. At that time, Steve Sachs was a mainstay in that potent Dodger lineup. A two-time World Series champions, champion with the Dodgers, both in 1981 and then, of course, in 1988. And the 1982 Rookie of the Year in the National League. Steve Sachs joining me now. And, Steve, it's always great to see you. I always enjoy our conversations. Before we get into the baseball stuff, I first want to offer you my condolences to you and your family of the passing of one of our nation's heroes. Marine Captain John Sachs was one of five Marines that passed away in a training flight accident in California uh, a bit ago. So our condolences to you. But I want you to speak about your son and, and what type of man he was and what you're doing to raise money uh, for his new foundation. Well, thank you, Alana. It's great to be with you. Um, and um, I don't think we have enough time for me to talk about all the things I'd like to say about my son. but. In a nutshell, I can just tell you that uh, he was a great Marine. He was the most devoted uh, husband. He was the kindest, most considerate, um, giving. He would uh, rest assured that when you went to sleep at night, that you would be protected by him and he would give his life to, to do that. And that's what he did. And um, he was my hero and he always will be. And um, no days are easier. It's, uh, it's an unbelievable thing. Yeah, he passed away in that crash in June, but you were taking it upon yourself to make sure that his name and his memory live on in a foundation, Captain John J. Jack's foundation, Jack's foundation. And and Steve, tell me what you're doing to raise money for this foundation. Well, um, the foundation is officially going to be open on May 1st. We have uh, Armed Forces Day on the 20th of May. We have Memorial Day on the 29th. So we figured it'd be great to uh, open the foundation the first day of May, and that's what we're going to do this Monday. And um, we are going to uh, raise funds to help uh, aviators, uh, prospective aviators, in all different facets, uh, in the armed forces, uh, as people that maybe want to become an astronaut someday, uh, or whatever it may be, if, if they're interested in flight, which my son loved dearly, uh, that's what we're going to do, raise funds uh, for those causes. and. So what we're doing is um, part of the start of this uh, fundraising um, that we're doing is I'm auctioning uh, most, not all, but most of my baseball memorabilia that I had throughout, throughout my career. My son was going to be the recipient of uh, most of that. So I found that this would be a good way to do it. We're going to auction that off and give a big uh, portion of the proceeds uh, to, uh, to my son's foundation. SCP, the auction house that's doing it, is also going to make a big donation uh, to the uh, Captain Jum and Jay Sachs Foundation. So uh, I think it's a great way to kick it off. And uh, if anybody uh, would out, out there would like to participate with us uh, starting Monday, they can go to the Captain John J. Sachs Foundation and uh, donate whatever they wish. Yeah, John J. Sachs Foundation begins on Monday, but you can go to the scpauctions.com for the Steve Sachs collection. Start donating for those auction items, all going to a very good cause, as we just talked about. So thank you for doing that and, and paying it forward in the honor of your late great son. All right, let's talk a little bit about the career that was for you, Steve Sachs. And we mentioned a two-time World Series champion, but 1988 was such a special year. What's your takeaway from that season? Uh, it was a magical year, Alana. We, we didn't have the most talent. When people say, well, the best team didn't win. The best team won. The Dodgers were the best team. But that doesn't mean we had the most talent. And a lot of it uh, was due in part to that man right there with Kurt Gibson hitting one of the most iconic home runs in the history uh, of baseball. I was lucky. I was in the on-deck circle. I had the best view of anybody. Uh, and uh, he wasn't even dressed for the game. So he got ready about the seventh inning, <laughs> started whacking balls off the tee, and he told us sort of he could go up there and give it a shot. Of course, Oral Hershiser was unbelievable. And what he brought to the table that year, he broke Don Drysdale's record at 59 and two thirds scoreless innings. Uh, and it was fastball slider and in rapid fashion. Oral didn't uh, need a pitch clock today. Uh, he just got on there and let his stuff work within the strike zone. He didn't care if he caught meaty parts of the plate. His stuff was that electric. And uh, he could start a game. He came out of the bullpen against the New York Mets and, and locked the game down for us as well. He was just a, a Superman that year. 
Yeah, you're very easy to talk about your teammates and boast about them, but I want to talk about you. Of course, 1982 Rookie of the Year. When you came up, Steve, stolen bases were such a big part of your game. You had 49 that year, and then your best year of stolen bags was in 83 with uh, 56. That is a bigger part of the game now with the new rules. What has been your impression of the new rules and the bigger bases? Well, I like the fact that it's going to bring in more of the speed aspect of the game. I think that is just such an exciting part of the game. Well, when you get to see the home runs and all that, that's fine. But boy, when people are out there stealing bases and uh, you know being electric on the base pass, forcing the defense to look up just a little bit sooner, um, that's what really you know moves the game forward and gets people on the edge of their seat. So I'm glad that we're going to see this this speed part of the game coming back. I think it's. Uh, amazing and it's a uh, it's tremendously important to the to the game of baseball I believe you debuted in 1981 as as I mentioned you have a ring in that 81 team but you were really a force in 88 but one thing that of course I remember about 81 is Fernando mania what was that like being a part of when you were coming up really just getting your first taste of what it was like to be in the big leagues well I w it was just crazy I mean Fernando really set the Dodgers onto a new platform uh, when he really did bring in the, the Mexican American community into the ballpark in droves. And he set this, he set this uh, organization at a new level. If it wasn't for Fernando, uh, the Dodgers wouldn't be, you know, maybe a team that back then was easily drawn over 3 million uh, people to the, through the turnstiles every, uh, every year. And Fernando was a big part of that. I mean, he just brought everybody in, they love to be around him. I saw Fernando on his first day when he came into the Dodgers in, in Arizona Instructional League. They brought him into the to the, uh, to the to the locker room. He had hair down the middle of his back. Uh, you know, he was throwing pitches on the top of the backstop and hitting the, the uh, cut out of the green in front of home plate. He was all over the place. And then when Bobo Castillo had taught him that, uh, the way to throw that, uh, that screwball, it was all over. I mean, this guy just dominated people. He was able to alter the speed on it, to throw it fast, to, to make it more of a changeup, to have it a hard break to it. Uh, and they just couldn't, the right-handers had no idea how to catch up with that screwball. Yeah, now he's in Mexico, of course, with the upcoming Mexico series. Steve Sachs, yeah. you were such a great player for the Dodgers. Obviously, Silver Slugger, five-time All-Star, two-time mm -hmm. World Series winner, Rookie of the Year. But your greatest gift is John J. Sachs. And we are sorry for your loss, but we're thankful for what you are doing. SCP.auctions.com. And then, of course, the John J. Sachs Foundation opening up on Monday. Steve, thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Alana. I appreciate it.